Hello everyone, uh, welcome in my third video tutorial of online movie ticket booking system. So let's start. Guys, uh, first of all, open uh, or you can say the add a new reference um, of the file upload control that is uh, class library project. So there is no options of the reference so now click on the dependencies folder right click on it add reference and in the same solutions we have a file upload control now your project tab will have added automatically when you uh, when after uh, add reference only after that uh, services dot in the startup.cs file of your main project add a inter uh, services that is air transit okay there are three services air transit to stopped and and one another okay in the upload interface upload file repo okay now got it now come to the section of your uh, view model section there is view model and in which we have a say class that is movie detail view model so first of all add a view model class that is movie detail view model and after that you can add admin controller in the controller fold oops there are error running on the special folder so first of all build your error oops getting error in the file upload control okay now uh, first of all remove the dependencies uh, remove the project and in the assembly folder we have a file upload remove it now again add a reference that is file upload control in the same solution okay add it successfully okay now come to the startup section there is uh, first of all resolve these issues you know that upload interface you have Upload is a capital name of the interface and this is the file name how to first of all resolve the upload interface name space using file upload control okay and the file repo class is not accessible actually again we can write it upload file repo okay uh, we intelligence of file pro is not accessible due to the protection level ops uh, now come to the section file app and make a public section okay thank you very much uh, yeah that's fine and remove this uh, duplicate usings okay now add a new controller again First of all, build this project and upload. Oops. Right click on it, add a new controller that is admin controller. Okay. Now add uh, two uh, things here that is, one is application DB context, and other is. Uh, upload interface so uh, initialize both object uh, both class objects first is the interface because here we have used interface uh, for the dependency injection uh, features okay so upload interface resolve by using control dot on the class name use control and dot key to resolve the usings and you can say the namespaces okay see uh, make a constructor of the class application db context as well as initialize both uh, object in the constructor admin controller <coughs> after that you can uh, add a create section first of all after that we can add a index section with the uh, details with the delete and uh, 
edit sections of your movie so create section uh, with the http get section under the model section we have a model view model class you can check that id is added okay right click on it create and movie detail view model select and add it okay now after uh, you uh, you must to add a file control instead of a uh, text box control for the picking the file okay so type equals to file name equals to files and multiple also and asp4 for, for the movie pictures okay thank you very much for watching this and after that you can test your project that is create section is, uh, for the http get is successfully working either working or not so admin and the create section yeah uh, the create section uh, or you can say the get section of your movie details is successfully working now uh, after that you can uh, post uh, http post method of the create section in which you can add the view model that is movie detail view model as well as the movie detail of the model class because i want to save that uh, content which is speaking from your uh, http get section and paste to, uh, or post to the uh, physical table so here we have a files and uh, movie details first of all i list using for the file upload control i list and i from files files here we have a files it's similar with the name of your uh, html uh, name property of your input control of your file input control actually so okay movie detail view model v, v model movie details and the movie okay now uh, movie dot movie name equals to get from the view model because when we click on the submit button uh, in css html file movie detail uh, the whole view model pass to the post data so you can get the data from the view model okay and the date time view model dot date time okay use for each loop uh, to get the files one by one remember that actually uh, that is used uh, image file is used for single file because you can enter single image at a time but here i used multiple so you can use um, single file also so movie dot pictures movie pictures is underscore upload item dot movie file name dot trim dot multiples you can access your upload method that is upload file multiple files context dot movie detail dot add movie context dot save changes so uh, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos which is related to uh, asp.net core because must to learn without anything uh, learn how to save the pictures into the database how to retrieve the pictures from the database that is the first video tutorial uh, I have already uploaded in my channel and um, how to create the database in ESP.NET Core and how to migrate the database, uh, update the databases and detail shows, uh, action results and something else and how to pass the uh, control, how to pass the data from controller to view section and many, many things uh, you can uh, learn from my channels. Okay, so there is so thank you very much and please don't subscribe uh, please subscribe subscribe my channel don't forget this 
please please i request you please subscribe my channel without any subscription i more my moral downs and uh, you know very well about uh, asp.net core i know very well uh, but please guys don't forget subscribe my channel please 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 okay now uh, if you want to print the save data as a message in your section so must to add a temp data after save changes is there but in the cshtml5 uh, file of your view is not there the temp data first of all check your data uh, is saved in the table yeah that is mm, there is saved successfully but the message will not display on your uh, message was not display on your uh, CSS, uh, on your page so you can uh, add in the last section and above the back to list you can add the temp data because the success message is actually exist in the temp temporary data variable that is success okay so again mm, thank you guys Mm. and please subscribe again i request you thank you thank you very much